So I've got a couple little boys and one of the things that they like to do is to come out into my shop and find some scrap pieces of wood and use them as toy guns. And also, oftentimes they're little scraps like this that are sharp and pointy and generally just dangerous for them to be running around with. So I decided I was going to make them something that would be a little more fun and a little more safe for them to play with. So in this video we're going to make an AK-47. So I'm going to be using my Shape Oko CNC machine for this build, but you could easily do the same thing using a bandsaw or even a jigsaw. This doesn't require a CNC machine to be able to make a project like this. So I'll quickly show you the process I went through to prepare the file for cutting it out on the CNC machine. The first thing I did was I went to Google Images and just searched gun vector. See there are lots of different images in the result. I really wanted something that was simple, that would be easy to cut out, so I just scrolled through until I found one, and honestly I don't remember exactly what file I used, but I think it was this one that I ended up downloading. Really I was just looking for ones where there wasn't a lot of detail in the guns. So I downloaded the image, it was an SVG file, and then I loaded it into Illustrator and created a file that was roughly the size that um, I wanted the finished product to be. Because my machine will only cut a maximum of 16 inches wide, I knew that I was going to have to do this gun in two parts. So I thought right here would be a good place to cut it, so I just, so I used the knife tool here and just roughly cut the image into two parts. So I wanted this to be a little more three-dimensional and I needed a way to connect these two parts so I came in here with the pen tool so I created a separate path and I'll turn that on so that you can see what I did. So my plan is to cut out two of these, one on either side glue it together and it will hold the two pieces together. I then created a separate file with each part where it was laid out approximately how I wanted it to cut. So now it's time to set up the CNC machine. I used this double-sided tape to hold down my workpiece. I put a piece in each corner and it actually holds really well. and then it's time to start cutting. Here we're at about 50%, but I don't remember exactly how long this took to cut out. I think it was a little over an hour. Now that it's done, I can move the machine out of the way and pop the workpiece off, and you'll see that it does take a little force so I made a bit of a mistake in setting up this job. When it came to cut the stock of the AK-47, it hit the back and wasn't able to move anymore, so it was off by a couple inches. You could see that it was gonna start cutting into this piece. So I right away stopped the process and went back and just made another file for just the stock. Next, I sanded each piece a little bit just to knock off the burrs from, left over from the CNC machine. And then I could cut out all the pieces where the tabs were holding it onto the piece of plywood. And now it's time to start assembly. Use the brad nailer just to hold it together. And once I've got all the pieces together, then I clamp it. 
Once the glue is dry, I sanded it down with some 220 and I'm going to spray paint it black. I spray painted the tip of the gun red, just as kind of a signal that this is only a toy gun. And then I finish it with some polyacrylic. This helps to protect it and make it a little more durable for the boys. That is the gun ready! It is. Check it out, here it is. Whoa, that is so awesome!